Hey, my name's Mel, welcome to my world. Now, if you're new to my channel, usually I would be talking about camper vans or van conversions, van life, anything related to camper vans. That's what my channel's all about. So if there's something you're interested in, please do stick around. But today, I've got something a little bit different. I've been approached by a company to do a product review. My first ever one, I've arrived. <laughs> I've made my mark on YouTube. So the company is a company called Halo View, and you can and they make reversing cameras. Look at that, fantastic. They got in touch with me and they said to me, would you mind doing a review of our product? We'll send you one for free. And I'm like, it's a no-brainer. I'm not going to say no, am I? So thank you, Halo View, for sending me this reversing camera. And it will come in really handy. So let's get on with it. Let's do a review of this camera. Let's have a look what's in the box. I've got to say, this box is quite... When it was delivered, it was in another big box with all packaging all around it. So they don't really care by the looks of it. I won't just slung in a bit of bubble wrap, I can tell you. Right, so I'll put that there. There you go, a bit of product, product placement. And by the way, I'm not getting paid to do this, but I do get a free camera, so... Uh, I'll be honest with you as well. Got nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Well, I've got a camera to gain, so yeah, I'm quite pleased. Wow, look at that instructions. It's a bit thin. I was expecting a great big thick manual. So look at this. Look at that first page. Looks quite simple, doesn't it? And you can wire up three cameras to this. That's a shame. I would have got the other. I would have, I would have been cheeky and asked them for another two cameras. Use it as a security system. Like my old mate Brett. Okay, so yeah, and it's all in English as well. Maybe that's why it's so thin, because it is pretty much all in English. It just so happens in front of me down here. <laughs> to give you an example, this is a manual for my cooking hob a one ring hob and sink. Look at the thickness of that, <laughs> the size of that, because half of it is, uh, yeah, it's like all those different languages. I mean, it's good if for international stuff, I suppose, but yeah, it's so annoying when you get a thick manual like that and you have to go all the way through it just to find this much. This is all you need. So that's um, very thoughtful. Right, that's enough about the instructions. Let's have a look what's in the box. I can tell straight away by looking at the box, it's a quality product. Look how well packed that is. I mean, they've gone to a lot of effort to create all this packaging. A lot of stuff like this comes in that bubble wrap stuff, you know, the stuff you can't even open with your teeth, you need a hacksaw to get into it. But, um, yeah, straight away, I, I can tell straight away it's quality anyway. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at the monitor first. Nice big monitor. Look at that, seven inch screen, I do believe. Um, nice buttons on there to play with. One plug, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So that's the monitor. 7 inch monitor, colour monitor. Look at the camera. Can't see that. I was expecting something all light and plastic and flimsy, but that, look at that, that's really heavy. That's a heavy camera. Again, a mark of quality. Yeah, nice thick, nice thick glass across the front as well. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty good, that. Leads a little short though. Hang on. <laughs> These clever people have thought of everything. Actually, I remember now, they did ask me how long a lead I would need. And, uh, yeah, there you go. That's the extension lead for the camera to reach the monitor. And that's five metres long. So, yeah, when you order one of these, um, you need to specify how long you need the lead. But I'd imagine you can join these together. This is five metres, so if you need ten, get two of these, join them together. No drama. Oh, these are little piddly things for the um, side of the monitor, I guess, for the mounting plate. There is. Yeah, look at that packaging. The packaging's, you know, that's not going to get damaged in the post, is it? Yes, yeah, so that's a mounting plate. I assume that's just glues to your windscreen, or there's, by the looks of it, there's pre-drilled holes if you want to fix it somewhere more permanently. So we'll have a look at that. More. Where's the wires then? Let's get rid of that, we don't need that. Nice tray look for the monitor, so that's actually you could probably use that to cover it up. 
use it as a monitor cover. Screen. Oh, look, here's the wires. I was rambling on there. <laughs> cigarette lighter. So, oh, yeah, look at that. Cigarette lighter. So you can. Oh, that's really good actually because now, usually, before I fit anything electrical, and if you are a regular viewer, you'll know I've got the little electrical gadget that I like to plug things into. This means I can actually plug this straight in the cigarette lighter and check it and make sure it works before I go to the trouble of fitting it. And I'll do that, I'll do that later on. I'll wire it up, hopefully. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty simple. I mean, three plugs, one for each camera, I'd assume. A power socket. Yeah, I'll assume that goes in there like that, so you can test it, make sure it works. And another three wires. Um, what are they for? And they're clearly marked as well. Camera three, camera one, camera two. So I guess they're the trigger wires. If you power those up, it makes each camera work individually. Cool. Um, a little shroud for the screen. I'm guessing that goes over there like that. If it stop any sun glare. Very thoughtful. Some screws. I guess they're for the camera. <laughs> an Allen key. I've no idea why you'd get an Allen key, but there you go. Oh, look, there you go. And another mount as well. So you've got option of using this mount, I guess, for the screen. Oh, my van's getting messy for the screen like that. Well, you've got another mount for two of it. Here it is. This mount as well for the back. I think I'll probably go with this one. And that's it. That's what's in the box. Right, so now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to unravel all this wire. I'm going to plug it all together and see what the picture looks like. Make sure it works first before I actually fit it in the van. Right, so... <clears throat> I'll switch the camera off while I do that, and I'll come straight back. So I've wired it all together. Well, not really wired it. I've uh, simply just plugged it all in. It literally is three plugs, plug it in, and it works. It's literally plug in and play. It is child's play. Anyone can do this. So don't be put off by all these wires. Um, yeah, it's very self-explanatory as well. I didn't even look in the book, in the manual. It's still down there. It's literally so simple to do. I'm really impressed. Uh, now, the picture quality... It's full HD, look at that. It's amazing, the picture quality is absolutely brilliant. It's as good as any TV, I can tell you. Now the camera itself, not only does it give you a good picture, it also has good sound as well. So it's got sound on the camera. I didn't realise they had sound. It's a reversing camera, why do you need sound? I'll tell you why you need sound, because if you don't see somebody in the camera when you're reversing and they shout at you, you can hear them. <laughs> <laughs> not only has it got sound, it's also got night vision. Look, it's got these four lights on it. If I put this camera, oops, excuse the feedback. If I put this camera down in the dark, it switches over to black and white night vision. Look at that. It does it automatically and really quick as well. So there's a bonus. So it's got me thinking. It would actually make, sorry about the feedback, so it's got me thinking, it would actually make a really good security camera. So, uh, can I be cheeky, Halo View? Can you send me another two cameras? <laughs> so I could have one each side, facing the front. Like, if you put one up in the corner there, one in the corner there, obviously outside, facing the front of the van, then your doors are covered. You have one facing backwards, your back doors are covered. So at night, when I'm laying here, all lonely in my bed, and I hear a disturbance, I can simply switch this on, and I can see what's going on outside. But not only can I see, I can hear as well. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> so would I recommend this product? Absolutely, definitely recommend it. It is quality. You can tell straight away it's a quality product. And I will put a link in the description directly to their website. So you'll be buying directly from the manufacturer. There's no second party, no third party. Nobody else is making a profit. You're buying directly from the manufacturer. And that can only be a good thing, right? So yeah, definitely recommend it and I will definitely put a link in the description. So please, if you like this video, please do give me a thumbs up and uh, feel free to leave a comment below. Let me, let, let me know what you think of my first product review. I really appreciate it. And if you are new to my channel, I will put a little link there so you can subscribe. You'll see a round circle with my mug in it. This ugly mug there will be there. 
And if you're interested in the van builds that I do, I'll put a link up there to my latest van build. Thanks for watching. Ta-da for now.